What's up guys, it's Roostick. Today I'm gonna to tell you a story about how I got to stunt double Scott Atkins on a movie. This was for a movie called The Debt Collector, which is out right now. It's actually available on Google Play and YouTube as well. I think it's like $3.99. They're not paying me to say this, but if you wanna support the movie, check out the actual context of everything I'm gonna talk about. Make sure to check it out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Before I begin, I just want to make it really clear to you guys that Scott Atkins is a very, very talented stunt actor with a background in actually being a stunt performer. He doesn't really need a stunt double. I only doubled him for a big wreck because it's safer for insurance purposes. That's also how it works with bigger stars like Tom Cruise. Even though like they do most of their own stunts, some stuff they just won't let the actor do. So this is one of those cases. And as you see in this wreck, it was pretty gnarly. I crashed through a table from the ceiling, so they brought me in just for that part. Okay, so let's just get right into the story, guys. I worked a total of four days on this movie. Two of them were rehearsal days and two of them were shoot days. One of the days was when I doubled Scott for a wreck and the other days when I actually fought him on a fight scene, which was also really cool. And I might cover that in a future video. But here, we're just gonna talk about how I got the job, what it was like working with Scott Atkins and how it felt like to do that wreck. So first let's talk about how I got the job. I was actually sitting at home one morning with my girlfriend Mary, we were having breakfast and my buddy Morgan calls me up and he tells me to head over to a set immediately because I might be able to work on a movie with Scott Atkins. So I got really excited, I hopped in my car, within 30 minutes I was there and when I got there I realized Scott was there as well and they wanted to have a look at me to see if I would be a good double for this stunt that was coming up. I ended up being a good match because we look kind of similar so that's how I got hired onto the movie. Once I got hired, they asked me to come back for the next two days. They actually had rehearsals going on, coming up with all the fights for the movie. So it was me, a couple other stunt guys, the stunt coordinator, Luke LaFontaine, and Scott Atkins. And it was all of us for two days, and we were like coming up with all the fights. It was mainly Scott and a stunt coordinator coming up with the actual fight choreography. And one thing I want to mention here is something that I learned about Scott while we were doing the rehearsals. He really impressed me in the way that he actually works with people. Because, for example, when we were doing choreography with Scott, it feels like you're flowing with water, kind of like uh, Bruce Lee would talk about. You gotta be smooth. And when you're doing fight choreography and you're working with people around you, and you, you can look violent, but you're actually, in reality, you're being flowy and it's more like a dance. And that's a big contrast to some other action actors that I've heard of that actually hurt stunt people. <clears throat> Steven Seagal. So yeah, I just wanna share that with you guys. It was just really cool working with them. What we did was we built the fight scenes, we ran through them, and we actually filmed what's called a previs, which is like a little test shoot that we then showed the director. And so once those previses were done, we wrapped up rehearsals and I waited for next week to actually go double Scott and then fight him. And now let's talk about the actual wreck. So my first job on the movie was to double Scott. Uh, his character is in the middle of a fight. He gets picked up by this big dude and thrown down through a table. So when the day came, I got to the set. I got all my clothes on, got in a wardrobe. They actually had me shave, but Scott had facial hair. So they ended up like putting another fake beard on me, which kind of looked kind of funny, but whatever. So I got into wardrobe. I got there early. I think we got there at like 10 a.m. or so. And then I actually had to wait until like 5 or 6 p.m. for the stunt. So basically I got to the set ready to do the stunt, got in my clothes as soon as I could, and then I sat there for eight hours. Which is fine, but you know, if you're a stuntman and you're about to do like a big wreck, that can kind of start messing with your head. But luckily I didn't have much to worry about because I had a lot of cool people to talk to, and I just love being on set. So for me it was fine, but we did wait like eight hours while I shot the main fight scene. Once it was my turn, once the production got to me, things went really quick. I got into the set, we lined up the stunt, me and the guy that was gonna throw me talked about how he was gonna pick me up, where he was gonna carry me, how he was gonna drop me, and as I got lifted on his shoulders to just walk it through, I actually realized how high up I was. Now the guy picking me up was I think like six seven, and I'm six two. So being on his shoulders, I was almost grazing the ceiling already with my back. I just realized like it's gonna have a long way to the ground. So I put on my pads under that suit. I had like a, a back pad and some elbows, and then I was ready to go. So once the director yelled action, it all happened really fast. The first one, I had a little bit of nerves as you do, but then after crashing through that table to the ground, my adrenaline kicked in. So on the second take, I actually asked the guy throwing me to give me a little bit more of a pop, and my foot ended up actually like putting a mark on the ceiling which I was actually really happy about. And then after I landed, they wanted to keep the camera rolling for another second or so. So you can actually see me kind of stumbling, facing away from camera as I'm getting up. This is another trick that stunt doubles always do is we always hide our face. Like if you notice in movies, whenever somebody's like falling and they're facing away from camera, that's usually a stunt double. If you notice the character's face in the camera, that's because they want to show that the actor's doing something. So literally from the time when I went into the room to do that stunt to when I walked out was maybe like 
five minutes because they were moving really fast. And uh, once it was over, everybody was really happy with it. I was happy with it. Scott came over to me, he thanked me. Uh, the director, Jesse Johnson, the coordinator, Luke LaFontaine, like they all were happy with how it turned out. They all thanked me. I got a cool picture with Scott. This was definitely like a bucket list for me. Like working with Scott Atkins for me is almost like working with somebody like Jackie Chan. So it was really cool for me. And it was also like the icing on top was to find out that Scott is a humble, hardworking, talented, professional guy, and he's a pleasure to work with. The stunt was done, I was gonna go home, I said bye to everyone, and then I got a call that I was gonna be facing Scott in a fight scene the following week. But, this has gone long enough, so I'll tell you that one on another video. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this story. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you wanna see part two. But anyways guys, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next video.